ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Late Late Show. We hope you had a nice Friday. Uh, we have a good show for you tonight. We'll be chatting with the always incredible Kevin Bacon. Later, this is exciting, we got a cooking demo with superstar chef Jamie Oliver. He's going to show me and you how to make the perfect beef wellington. You yes. don't want to miss it. Do you know what a beef wellington is, Reg? Yeah, it's some, some kind of a kind of baked pastry beefy thing. That's right. That's yeah. right. It's a baked pastry beefy thing. <laughs> Which I think is what they're originally going to call it, and they thought, no, let's call it something even weirder. <laughs> Ian, you've cooked a beef Wellington before. I've seen photographic evidence of this. Yeah, it is a delicious hurricane of savory flavors. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. I feel like if Americans, I, I can only imagine after tonight's show, beef Wellington will just be sweeping America. You won't be able to get a <laughs> fillet of beef or puff pastry anywhere. And it'll, how long do you think it'll take? before they just call it, like, a big pocket. <laughs> they call it meat pillow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come over, we're cooking a meat pillow. <laughs> I don't know how it's not a huge thing here already. That's yeah. the, it makes no sense at all. Yeah. It's we love of... taking something and shoving it in another something. That's it. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think after tonight's show, we are a year away from Pizza Hut putting a beef wellington in the crust of a pizza. Yes. Which I am, now I've said it out loud, I am incredibly excited about. <laughs> Pat, patent pending, patent pending, patent pending. Is sensational. Well, let's move on and look at the headlines. Some breaking news from Capitol Hill. The House of Representatives passed a historic bill today that would decriminalise the use of cannabis. What about that? <laughs> yeah. Really made the house. The house was like, all those opposed say nay, all those in favour say cool. Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I'm down. <laughs> now the measure is not expected to pass into law, or I should say, it's not expected to puff puff pass into law. <laughs> Even still, Nancy Pelosi was like, right, but this is enough to prove that we're cool, though, right? <laughs> And did you see this? Last night, Joe Biden and Kamala Harris gave their first sit-down interview together since the election. And during the interview, Joe Biden said that he will ask Americans to wear a mask for his first 100 days in office. My inclination, uh, Jake, is on the first day I'm inaugurated to say I'm going to ask the public for 100 days to mask. Just 100 days to mask. Not forever, 100 days. And all the anti-maskers were like, just 100? Sure, we're reasonable people. <laughs> Bound to work. Biden will ask everyone to wear masks for 100 days. So if you've been toying with the idea of adult braces, February feels like your month. Yes. <laughs> or the only way this will actually work, the only way they'll get people to do this is if there's a big prize at the end of the 100 days. You know, something fun, like a jet ski or the end of a global pandemic. <laughs> At another point in the interview, Jake Tapper asked the president-elect how he recently injured his foot, and Biden had this odd anecdote to share. How is your foot, and what happened? What happened was I, <laughs> I got out of the shower, I got a dog, and anybody who's been around my house knows, dropped a little pup, dropped a ball in front of me, and for me to grab the ball, and I'm walking through this little alleyway to get to the bedroom. And I grabbed the ball like this, and he ran. And I was joking, running after him to grab his tail. And what happened was that uh, he slid on a throw rug, and I tripped on the, on the rug he slid on. That's what happened. Oh, man. <laughs> not, not, not very exciting story. I have so many questions about this. My main takeaway is we really didn't need the shower part of that story. <laughs> The shower bit is absolutely unnecessary. There's no need to say you're in a shower. Just say, oh, I was chasing my dog and I tripped over. Now all we're doing is imagining Joe Biden running around wet and naked. <laughs> uh, also, why does Joe Biden have an alleyway inside his house? I think that's called a hallway, isn't it? I mean, this is all starting to sound suspiciously like malarkey to me, and that is the one thing he promised us that he would not do. <laughs> He's not even in office yet, and we've got malarkey straight up front. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> but this does bring up an interesting question. What do we think? What, 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 
Is, is, what do we think Joe Biden does shower gel wise? <laughs> do you think he's a shower gel guy? Do you think, Hagar? Yeah. I think he's a bar of soap. Yeah. I think he's an old school bar of soap, not too aromatic, you know, no. sandalwood, and he uses it until it's the size of a guitar pick. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? What's your shower routine? What are you, what are you, uh, are you a bath guy? Uh, I don't like baths. Really? No. You don't like a bath? I, you know, I'd like to. This sounds so romantic and cozy, but it just takes too long. <laughs> what else have you got to do nowadays? <laughs> but I enjoy, I, I like a soak. So I like a soak. I also like, I like testing my body. I like getting in. That's too hot. Don't get out. Style it out. Wait, do you know what I mean? Let your body get used to it. Ha ha ha. Ah. <laughs> ah. Actually, it's okay. It's not too bad. It's all right. <laughs> if anything, it's cold. That's what I enjoy. <laughs> Meanwhile, President Trump and Vice President Pence are heading down to Georgia this weekend to campaign for the Republican candidates in the Senate runoff election. The best part of this whole story is, frankly, we don't have to give a single. <laughs> What Trump and Pence are up to anymore? Like, they're like, are they? Sure, I don't care. You know? I mean, technically, both of them will be campaigning in Georgia, but I think we know, really, this is all about that lightning in a bottle charisma of Mike Pence. You know? <laughs> Donald Trump's going, is it? I'm going to give it a miss. Pence will be speaking. Get in the car. <laughs> the way this will work is that like Trump will rant at a rally for 90 minutes about election fraud, and now the whole thing is rigged, and then Pence will be like, so, get out to the polls and vote. <laughs> <laughs> and we wanted to show you this. A Nordstrom ad for elbow-length red gloves is being mocked as a, quote, murder dress. And I think you'll see why. Here it is here. I mean, that... <clears throat> that does look like something you would wear to kill someone. Either that or to artificially inseminate a cow. <laughs> and the look is pretty versatile. It is, you can go straight from pushing your third husband off a boat to the red carpet. <laughs> I do think murderers... I do feel like... <laughs> <laughs> I do think that murderers are a, are a group often overlooked by, by advertisers. Do you know what I mean? They're rarely spoken to. Yeah. No one ever goes, this is great, but are we, are we ignoring murderers here? Should we? <laughs> Susan. Susan is looking at me like this. <laughs> you feel they are targeted to, Susan, or you just feel this isn't something <laughs> that should be chatting about on the show? It took a turn. It took a turn. <laughs> <laughs> it took a turn. You're right, Susan, it took a turn. Um, here's a fun story that we saw. Do you guys... Does everybody remember... We actually had one in the studio, those 12-foot-tall skeletons that became a hot-selling item for Halloween? Well, surprisingly, uh, people are having a hard time finding a place to store these skeletons. <laughs> so what they've done is they've just incorporated them into their holiday decor. For example, have a look at this. There's one here, there, <laughs> and then there's this one. And this one also. I mean, you thought your kids had trouble getting to sleep on Christmas Eve before they saw this. <laughs> People have 12-foot skeletons just taking up space in their, in their house. You know what that sounds like? Guys, see what it sounds like? A lot of dead weight. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. Give me a break. <laughs> A lot of people everywhere are looking at those displays like, oh, my God, that's really creepy. Except here in Los Angeles, where they're like, looking good, almost to your goal weight. I love this for you. <laughs> you look fantastic. Two more weeks, you're going to be... Mwah. <laughs> and finally, we have an update on a very important story that we brought to you earlier in the week. Uh, nobody else, not one other show, had the courage, and it is courage, to bring you this story, OK? But we were brave enough. We met it head on and we were brave enough when we told you about the seven foot tall mountaintop sculpture of a penis that went missing in Germany. <laughs> Police were investigating it. Nobody knew where it went. Well, we are pleased to report that a new, slightly larger penis 
has mysteriously appeared in its place. Here it is here. Look at this. It's a Christmas miracle. <laughs> yeah. No, I have no idea how or why the penis ended up getting bigger, but I would like to learn more. <laughs> Can we see that mountaintop sculpture again? Look at that. I'm not sure where it came from, but I, I think one of those giant skeletons might be missing a bone. <laughs> this mountain has a new, larger penis. It's cliché, but it was either this or the mountain was going to buy an expensive sports car. <laughs> That is a terrible graphic, John. <laughs> that, that is... Can we see that graphic again? That is... If you showed that to someone without the context, no-one would go, oh, that's clearly a mountain has bought itself a sports car. <laughs> what have you got to say for yourself, John? I think it works. I think, I think it plays. He's having a good time. <laughs> I think it works. Think it works. He's, He's works. having a nice time. Is that what you just said? <laughs> well... We love that you're here. And we'll be right back with Kevin Bacon, everybody. <laughs>